Hello, my name is Ryan Page, and I'm an application specialist for Techless Structures. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing how to link general arrangement drawings from Techless Structures directly to Trimble Connect. More specifically, we'll be using the linking documents to Trimble Connect extension found on the warehouse to associate concrete specific drawings to the correct concrete objects in Trimble Connect. For this video specifically, we'll be covering the following key points. We intend to provide an overview of the linking documents to Trimble Connect extension, and by doing so, we'll define its functions as it relates to concrete and general arrangement drawings. We'll also provide a step through of the extension dialog box and a brief demonstration on the use of the extension. It's important to note that this extension has been around for some time, but recently has been updated to work with general arrangement drawings and pour units, which are key factors in cast in place modeling. Since this is the focus of this video, we will not be covering all of the extension's functionality. If you wish to see further how this tool can be used outside the scope of general arrangement drawings and concrete objects, just head over to our Techly User Assistance website and search for linking documents. The second search result will provide a video for the overall use of this extension. So before we get into the extension proper, let's cover what we have in place for our demonstration. We have a basic model with some walls, footings, columns, and a suspended slab. We've established both parts and pores with this model, and we have applied some reinforcement to the suspended slab. We also have created three associated drawings to these objects. The first being a simple foundation drawing showing parts. The second is a lift drawing utilizing pore units for the second story. And lastly, there's also a rebar drawing displaying parts with the reinforcement inside the suspended slab. The reason for this is to illustrate that the extension can be used to associate objects regardless if parts or pores are used during the drawing creation process or the exportation process of the model. So even if the rebar drawing was created using parts displayed, it still can be associated with the correct pores that contain the appropriate concrete and reinforcement. Now I've also gone ahead and created a Trimble Connect project and uploaded this model using the upload button in the Trimble Connect ribbon as well as exporting a few IFCs of this model to give us a couple of different scenarios to linking documents. The key thing to remember is that direct upload utilizes pores, whereas my IFC export is using parts. So with that, let's take a look at the extension itself. Once you've downloaded and installed the extension and then restarted Tecla as instructed, open up your model and go to the Applications and Components side pane and search for Link. The linking documents to Trimble Connect icon should show in the search results. Go ahead and double click on that icon to open up the dialog box. Once open, there will be a few areas we'll need to address before linking documents. First at the top is where we can specify the Trimble Connect project and then the models within that project we would like to associate our drawings to. This implies a few things. First, we can associate the same drawings with different IFC files or models provided those objects are present in both. Also, it implies that we have to have our model associated with the Trimble Connect project and have uploaded that model before proceeding with this extension. So once we've done that, then we can go ahead and choose which files, either typically an IFC or a .tecla file, to associate to. And you can find that in the Project IFC Tecla Files dropdown. Now, if you do not see your file listed in this dropdown, this is because your model file is not stored in the main or root folder of the project, and it's probably located in a subfolder. It's really easy to correct. Just navigate over to the ellipsis button here to the right side where it shows the IFC Tecla file location, and navigate to the subfolder directory that contains your model. Select that and come back, and then you can choose your model from the dropdown. Now, down below under General to the left, we can choose which drawing or file types we would actually like to link to our objects. For our purposes today, we're going to focus solely on general arrangement drawings, but notice the other options available. And if you have these drawings inside your model, you'll be able to use this extension to export those types of drawings as well. To the right, we have options, and we can choose to only export for selected, whether this be selected objects in the model or selected drawings from the document manager. We can also choose to use existing PDFs if we've already created them. Otherwise, the tool will create the PDFs for us. Keep in mind, though, that typically speaking, when the tool creates the drawings, it prints them in color and on monochrome or grayscale. So if you'd like your drawings to be in one of those formats, you may, it, it may be useful for you to go ahead and plot them ahead of time. The choice is up to you. 
Also, we have the drop-down mode, which allows us to add or replace, so essentially uh, dictating whether these documents will be continually added to the project or if we can replace existing versions with updated ones. Below with NC options, this is going to pertain more to steel fabrication. Uh, it does not really apply to our concrete uh, exportation and general arrangement, so we'll go forego covering that. And then lastly, the format is the format of the documents we are exporting. We can choose PDF or DWG slash DXF or both. And this will give us an overlay in our Trimble Connect file as well as the PDF associated to the actual object. So let's go ahead and populate our dialog box with the options as shown. We will use existing PDFs already created for this demonstration. Now the last thing that we need to do before we hit the play button down at the bottom left is to go ahead and actually select the documents we would like to export. And we do that using the document manager. So make sure that you select those before hitting the play button as shown on screen. For this first part of our demonstration, let's just select our foundation drawing and link it to our IFC that contains parts. Once we hit the execute button, the dialog box will populate, letting us know that executing this command is going to prevent us from being able to undo here as it saves the model. And it just asks us if we want to continue. Uh, you can check this to not show the message again and just hit save and link documents. Now at this point, it's important to note that depending on how many objects you have in your model or how large your model may be or how many drawings you're choosing to link through this tool, this process may take a little while, and it's going to vary depending on what you're uploading. So just have that expectation. However, once the process is complete, you can go ahead and open up Trimble Connect to view the results. We're currently using Trimble Connect for web, but this will also work whether you're using the desktop application or on your mobile device. We're looking at the models tree on here on the left-hand side, and we can navigate our folders and subfolders to turn on our different model files, such as the ISC with parts or the Tecla file with pores. Let's go ahead and turn on our ISC for parts, and as we can see, we have all these icons showing documents on the concrete. If we select one of those little icons and click, it'll show us the documents associated with that object. This is what the tool has done for us. Yes, we could come in here and do it on our own, but it's expedited the process and applied the drawings to any object that was applicable. So if I click on the PDF document, it's going to download it and then open it up in my native browser since I'm using Trimble Connect for web. It would also open up in the native browser for the desktop or your mobile devices. Now we can also navigate through the tree here to another subfolder called Drawings. If we do that, we can go ahead and navigate to the DWG DXF folder and turn on that DWG export we also created during our linking, and that goes ahead and provides a DWG overlay on top of our model objects for easy annotation. To close out our demonstration, let's go ahead and repeat the process, but this time let's select the subfolder under structures to find our .tecla file that shares our model name. Let's go ahead and select all of our drawings that we have associated here, but we'll just do the PDFs this time. Now the point of this end of the demonstration is to show that drawings created using parts can still be associated with pores inside of Trimble Connect. So you're not limited to making sure that they align and having so many different models within your Trimble Connect project. Once the linking is complete, we can return back to Trimble Connect and then navigate the file tree to make sure that the .tecla file is visible within the project. And from here, we'll be able to see those familiar .linked document icons associated with the pores shown on screen. From here, we can access them in the same method that we had on the previous demonstration with parts. So in summary, it's pretty easy to link drawings from Tecla structures to Trimble Connect using this extension tool found on the warehouse. So it expedites the process of linking these documents, whether it be PDF or DWG, uh, to the appropriate parts or pores, saving us a whole lot of time doing it manually. This allows you to ensure that your Trimble Connect projects contain the most robust and up-to-date information with little effort as possible. Ensuring that all involved get the most accurate information as quickly as possible. This concludes our video on linking documents to Trimble Connect. Thank you for watching. For more information on the topics discussed in this video, or for other topics, make sure to visit our Techly User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.